Where are we at? Um, FP meet. Yeah. So we're in Jamestown at Blake's meet, and uh, we're about to walk around and get some videos of trucks. Jacob is filming the cinematics for us. The truck looks pretty decent. It'd be even better if the transmission act actually worked. Andy, fix my transmission. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this time I'm charging this. Oh, oh okay. yeah, well, the truck is broke now. Um, the six speed is destroyed pretty much. Oh, God. Hey, I did talk to Don. Yeah. He said that, and I'm thinking, let's put a 4,500 in. That's the cheapest fix, dude. Who's going to trade me? If you have 40 MV4500, hit me up. That was all day long. <laughs> I could find somebody better. Monday, fall Monday after Blake Fitzgerald's meet. Uh, as you can see behind me, we got a tractor and my truck. Uh, we've already broke the truck. The transmission is completely toast. Um, not quite sure what happened. We were literally driving back from from Gabe's the other day and uh, it decided that it didn't want to have third or fourth gear anymore. So transmission is completely gone. Batteries are now dead for some reason. So we're about to roll start it because I can't jump it off with jumper cables because it's just that angry right now. So we're gonna see what we can do. So like I was saying, truck's dead. We're trying to jump it off. Got Casey's car, we <laughs> got the tractor over here trying to jump it off um about three days ago we were well i was going to gabe's to detail some trucks before blake's for him and uh on the way home went to shift into third gear to downshift and it would not go into gear went to go into fourth gear and it started like knocking like it sounded like a baron was going out or something so i think i've been a shift fork or, or something like that I'm not quite sure though, so we're gonna pull the transmission today as if, I don't even know. I don't even wanna start because this thing has gave me so many problems and I'm so upset about it, but at the end of the day, I still love this truck. I got a lot of money and time into it. And it's came a long ways. Um, sorry for the wind noise. I'm sure you're, you know, it's probably all over the place, but we're gonna see if we can't get it started. We gotta get it pulled in the shop drop the cross member and some other things and get the transmission pulled out we're taking it to rocky top transmission in knoxville tennessee they're going to go through it and get it done this week for me so it'll be ready next week so i'm super excited to get it going again but i'm hoping i don't have any more issues out of it because it just seems like it's one thing after another with this truck so if you're interested in a second gen dm me and we may work something out <laughs> take it down the road i just want to show y'all guys like pretty much what it's doing what noise it's making you know so i'm not just bsing like we actually broke we actually broke the truck and we've not even had it back a week and it's already broke like this is just i don't know it's it's just my luck this first gear it don't it don't make any noise like totally okay right so sorry, no, we're coming. you're good this is second gear just listen third gear can't even push into it this that's fourth gear that's straight up fourth gear okay so get a little bit of momentum going it sounds like it's going to explode honestly like, it's pretty bad okay You're dead fast. <laughs> that's fifth gear <laughs> that's fifth it's kind of going away but listen <laughs> <laughs> you can feel it in this. You can literally feel like it's shaking. Like it's that bad. <laughs> what in the world? I don't know. I was just driving it, and I literally went to downshift to go into into third gear. I literally downshifted. I think this road's too small for 
I'm trying to get dirt around. Oh, here comes a four. Oh, it's Tyler. He's trying to find his propane heater for us. Oh. Bucked and it was going. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to explode. Like, because I don't got third gear, I can't put it in third gear. That's second. This is fourth. Fourth gear is like there's like something. I don't know. I don't want to break like any teeth off. But listen, it's that bad. <laughs> Dude, that does not. We gotta get this pulled ASAP. Probably gotta pull the inspection covers off of it when we get up here and just see if there's any metal. I already did that once though. We remember we good. pulled it was good. There was no metal chunks or nothing in, in the fluid. So I'm not for sure what's going on. Is it charging your battery? Now what's your, it uh, says it's charging them, but I don't know. The battery. Yeah. See but look, there's third gear. It won't even go in. It won't even go into third gear. And then, like, for some reason, now it's grinding. When you, like, it's supposed to have brand new synchros and stuff in it. Yeah. When you go into first and second, it grinds. Well, so, she's fucked, bud. Yeah. I called the guy I got it from, and we talked a little bit. But, uh, he's going to help us out. So. Well, metal shavings yet. I thought some like fell out, but it does look like them. As you just seen, we pulled the six speed out of the truck. Uh, we actually dropped that off yesterday at Rocky Top Transmission. I didn't really get to film any of it just because there wasn't really much to film, but we did get the transmission out. It is out. Uh, we are going, I think we're going up there next week, probably Monday or Tuesday to get the transmission. We actually just changed uh, the alternator and put a new belt on it. The alternator that we had was actually giving us some issues. It was kind of like a melting the wires. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it was melting the wires and it was making a terrible smell. The truck smelled like it was going to burn. So we got that taken care of. So hopefully that will fix that issue. And we got to charge these batteries. And then uh, next week we should have the transmission back. We'll probably do a video on that, getting it all put back together. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all that we like on the truck. I mean, y'all probably haven't seen the engine bay. We've did a bunch of powder coating and stuff like that and put some, uh, some different aftermarket parts on it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a little upset because we only had the truck back for maybe a week and then the transmission went out. It's a part of life, I guess, but, uh, we should have it back, like I said, next week. It's going to cost a little bit of money to get it fixed, which at this point, this whole truck has just cost so much money to get just everything done to it. Paint job, I mean, interior, everything has just cost so much. And I'm kind of tired of it, honestly. But I think once we fix the transmission, we're going to try to get a different truck, something newer. 
possibly build it and keep this just for a show truck because I'm kind of, I daily drive it. So it kind of sucks when you have a daily driver like this and something breaks on it, then you're kind of out of vehicle. So we're going to do that. But yeah, I appreciate all the support, guys. Uh, this video is probably not going to be as long as what it usually is. There's probably going to be, you know, a 15 minute long video or so. But I didn't really get to film much at Blake's because I was kind of worried about the truck and I didn't really walk around much. There was just so much going on. And honestly, it was probably the biggest truck shop I've ever been to. So I was a little overwhelmed. Um, you know, Music City and UCC and stuff like that is pretty big. But I think Blake really just topped it off this year. I mean, the truck show was, it was crazy. I mean, 10 thousand people at the show 1500 trucks i mean there were so many people there and it was awesome you know to see everyone who supports me and just you know having people come up to me and take pictures with the truck and and everything else you know it meant a lot and you know i hope to see all music city that's actually my birthday weekend so i'm excited to go to that uh we'll just see y'all there hopefully we may have different wheels on the truck and hopefully we may have a, a new truck to bring with us so y'all stay tuned next week we'll get a video out for y'all the whole truck and we may just go through everything that's done to it and then some things that I want to change about it before Music City. Um, but yeah, I appreciate all the support. Hope you all have a good rest of your day.